anyway, um, you know, we might just, uh, I suspect we'll probably get a couple of people. So um, we had a discussion in there about the four claps. Okay. So you can record this if you want. So it is okay. So what, waiting for hopefully other people to come. We, we, why don't you both stand up? Okay. And um, we do the one, two, three, four. A lot of Aikido schools do the one, two. Okay. Um, my, my basic sense of it, okay, is that the two claps are Shinto. Okay. And um, Aikido, and sometimes you know, there's O-sensei in Aikido, and there was Aikido. Okay, as much as possible, I, I try to follow what O sensei did, not what Aikido does, because he, to some degree, was, is, probably ever will be Aikido. And, and so the two claps are more standard. You go to a shrine, you clap twice, you throw money in, and you clap twice, and you ring the bell. You know, Shinto ceremonies is two claps. Okay, now O sensei studied with the Gucci and the Saburo, who was like the head of the Omoto sort of offshoot of Shinto. Omoto means the great origin, okay? And um, Omoto was four, okay? And Osensei was very, more so than he was devoted to Omoto, so he was very devoted to the Gucci and the Saburo Shinto. Okay, so because of that, you know, uh, you know, he kind of he would do the four claps, right? And you know, the four claps, you know, represent you know heaven, earth, water, fire, you know, the four el you know elements of the physical universe of all that, but their their universe, okay. But we also have, you know, in terms of standard physics, we have gravity electromagnetism, weak force, strong force, okay? Now, what's tricky is O Sensei kind of felt that he was religious in that, but it was more devoted, I think, to the Gucci Sensei and what the Gucci Sensei represented as opposed to I'm religious, okay? And um, he, so he did the four class. Now, you know, in terms of, you know, the, uh, he espoused the kind of a view of the universe that, that, for example, somebody like Carl Jung would appreciate. He talked about archetypes, comics, various levels and deities, spirits, whatever, very shamanistic, okay? And, you know, certain things like sounds, kototama, but also numerology. Like we do the four claps. He insisted he had this system called the one, four, three, eight. Ichire, the primary first soul, the spirit, shikon, four sub spirits, the sangen, the three origins, which, which you can look at as triangle, circle, square. Iku Musubi, Haru Musubi, Hamatsuma Musubi. And then you have the eight powers, things like stillness and movement, expansion, contraction, tension, release, unification, division, eight powers. And he insisted that that was really the whole makeup of the universe. So, you know, it, it, you know, where did he get that? <laughs> I suspect it was something he got from Yaguchi Sensei. But, you know, he did a lot of work on his own. And as he cleared himself, he so did, he began to see the universe that way. That it was not, you know, just this, this dense world where we collide and there's all this division and hatred and disease and there's good stuff too, but you know, there's a lot going on that's not here, right? But that the original design of the universe, everything comes out of an original consciousness. 
an original consciousness. That original consciousness, a lot of times it's real difficult to because we tend to get very monotheistic on it. But it may have aspects to it. All right, the Adam Isama, that's power. The Kushi Isama, the heaven factor, is mind, intelligence. The Sachin Isama represents earth, but there's a certain area where we're mentioning that love, for example, can be very abstract and can create a lot of problems unless they have balance. And so the Satsumitama gives us the, the actual sense to experience and feel love in a balanced way, which we're supposed to do, not in an imbalanced way. And then the um, Nidimitama is water, it's beauty, it's harmony. Okay? And so you go one, four, and then the three, the Sangyam, the three origins, Ikumisubi, generative force. Triangle, Haru Musubi, the circle, harmonizing. Kamatsume Musubi, the square, which is very mysterious. We tend to think of the square as like a pen and a technique. But I think it seems to indicate that the square is something else. Physically, it represents kind of like the end of a technique where you pin somebody. But in terms of, he said it's a, you know, he also had this thing where you have. You know, you have the manifest world, which is, you know, the, the universe is, you know, our limited consciousness sees it. And then we call, you know, so the Zenkai is the Yukai, which is the hidden realm. Well, the hidden realm is, you know, what in those sense they refer to as dimensionality. In fact, he, in some sense, you know, uh, if he grabs my wrist, you know, this is, this is, the manifest realm. The key is already the, the world of energy movement is already to some degree right here. Yeah. See, in the manifest realm, this really turns into a wrestling match. But there are other dimensions where energy moves differently. Okay? And then what he called the divine realm, the Shinkai. So he had you know, one, four, three, and then eight, the eight powers. Okay, for example, he grabs with two hands. Okay, there's contraction, but there's also extension. You know, these are, these are yin yangs, they're pairs about how the universe works. Okay, for example, when they hold really firm with two, there's stillness, but then there's motion. And they segue to each other without a lot of, okay. Um, Unification is an original. The one in creation still exists, the, the first consciousness. But on the other hand, it's already kind of not disassembled, but the fragmented into many things. Division of the one, but the one is still here, and it's possible through all this division to put the one together. Okay? So right about here, you know, let's say we go here. All of a sudden, see, we are part of the division, him and me, but there's a unification factor. It's possible. Okay? So, you know, you know so he had the one, four, three, eight. And, and what happened, you know, there's one, a lot of ways of looking at it. Now, class really hasn't started yet. But so Ken's changing. Like, a couple other people are going to come in, we'll bow and we'll do a bow. But you have to realize that what Osense was doing was on a totally different level. Now, what happened? You know, uh, the the world organization, the IT side, really that we are belong to, is really what is family. Now, you know, they, they, they basically we, we still go through the organization that that, that that represents them. And the other thing about Osensei and his father, you know, his son wrote a biography. He failed at every business. But what would happen is that he would turn it over to somebody and it would bloom. <laughs> you know, he tried to teach, uh, you know, an abacus calculating, you know, device in Tokyo, didn't work, handed it over to somebody else, boom. Okay. And he had an ability to gather people, it goes to Hokkaido. 
with a community from his native Hanabe. And he sort of, you know, the Shirataki area, he sort of asked what they call the king of Shirataki, because he's negotiating all this stuff. We go there, there's drought for two years, nothing grows. He gets them to hang in there. All of a sudden, in that arid area, things grow. <laughs> so he had an ability to bring in other energy. Okay. And I, you know, you know, we all do uh, Aikikai a lot because it sort of sustained Aikido in a business model. They teach technique. They teach, you know, uh, there's a certain thing where, oh, okay, yeah, that, that's, uh, the, yeah, that is the Tokyo School, and that's the headquarters of the world Aikido organization, things like that. But it was another case, I don't know how many people were practicing when I was first I was alive, but his son takes over, you know, who's an accountant with a business model and a business plan. And I, you know, really blossomed. I mean, they, they had him in the background. In other words, the story of his life is like a, you know, is the archetypal journey around which I, you know, is built. You know, it's a path of enlightenment. Okay, so the, the, you do the four claps. And, you know, you go somewhere and you don't clap four times if they clap twice. You don't clap, you know, those times it doesn't clap. That's fine. You know, I do it because, you know, the, the tradition of it, and I kind of, you know, all right. But a lot of what uh, Osentia was trying to teach is just a finer, more original design to creation. Okay, that, that, that fragmented so much, you know, there was a one original consciousness to each day, you know, the primary soul consciousness of the universe. And everything was created perfectly. And then what happened is that one became many, where we're each a soul, or each a consciousness, all right? And then the creation itself, you know, from the very fine original model, became very dense and we as souls came in and we got kind of caught up in that fragmentation. Okay, so I think a lot of what Osensi was trying to say is that the original design, the perfection that came out of the one, the primary consciousness still exists. And as we're separate from it, again, the one and the many unification Taking all that, putting it together. Okay. So he said something like, for example, modern physics, the, the hardest force to understand, you understand it in Einsteinian terms. You know, curvatures in space time, if he grabs two hands, let me get over here. I'm going to put my weight into trying to move them. And I'm going to learn tricks, but I'm just digging in a deeper hole for myself. Okay, but what happens is that, for example, all of a sudden, there's a gravitational pull there. I'm going to try to move him. He has weight and mass here. But if all of a sudden there's a blip in gravity, he moves not just physically, but as energy. Okay, so one of the things about the uh, nature of Einstein is that, you know, um, there's this space-time grid, okay? Things like, well, for example, here, there is no greater mass here, but if there were all of a sudden, that grid would curve and energy would move, okay? But I think since they had the other side, which, which everybody understands, but basically, it doesn't get talked about very much. And what he could do, he could bend the grid and, and create energy and matter to me. So on space time, right, he had that ability, not to write about here, you know, he's supposed to Mm -hmm. He gets strong. Okay, cool. The grid bends a little bit. He is mass and energy move 
And the grid probably represents some aspect of an original mind. Everything is laid out, okay? But you have the ability, he was so much in harmony with everything that, you know, basically uh, he, he could bend that grid and energies and forces would come in and move as that grid bent. His original mind and, and the actual original layout of things is not solid, heavy, dense, stupid. It's fine, it's fluid. So if he comes in this way, comes in here, and see the, the technique itself can become many different things. Okay, so, you know, we, we started with the sense that, you know, why do we do the four class? Uh, you know, at copying those sensei gets you what? I'm not sure. But for me, it's a reminder that there's his Aikido, it's still existing. It exists in the original perfection of the creation. And it exists as we do our work to get our consciousness more in tune with that original perfection. You see, he said the whole thing is about Misogi, the, the dense, clogged, delusional eye starting to clear, feel itself more fully. Okay, so right about here, uh, I got a couple of And if he's real strong, he's just going to be good again. Uh, uh. So, you know, that, 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 uh, that's a little bit of an Einsteinian thing because if you, the grid bends, energy moves. Conversely, it takes matter, mass, or energy to bend the grid. It goes both ways. He understood the equation. So you got the dense physical world here, and you get the finer world. They're equal. You know, so this is better than that, or oh, this is real, that's not. This Einstein thing, the key thing in relativity, one side, A is equal to B. The A side of the equation is mathematics, geometry. The B side of it is physics. It's beautiful. A equals B. But where do those senses stand? My sense, if we get a little bit over here, he stood on the equal sign. He stood on the equal sign, called that the floating bridge. That's where his consciousness was clear and original enough to allow the A to equal B. And so everybody says, well, if we have enough mass or energy, we can bend space time and we create gravity, right? But on the other hand, the original consciousness is what space time came out of anyway. So if we kind of go here, then for example, you know, <clears throat> things are very fluid and free in that dimension. And we go back to here, everything's fragmented and heavy. All right. So, so you know, it's as simple as A equals B, right? In some sense, you know, for those sense they put everything, everything is right here. This crazy fragmented world exists and it's equal to the actual perfection of things. The original design that came out of the original consciousness is still here in this fragmented zone. Now, our job, oh, since they found the equal sign, didn't he? What did that mean? You know, he, he was a part of the consciousness here, and he kept clearing and clearing and clearing, and he started to see, well, that's, that exists, that exists. I exist here in this clear, what you would call a more enlightened state. All right. Okay. Matter and energy in the grid. You create gravity, you create motion, also you create stability. If the sun ceases to exist, the whole universe, is, you know, the whole solar system will fall apart because it's this gravitational thing that allows all these orbits. Okay. On the other hand, The original consciousness 
may be able to bend the space time grid. Uh, well, the other thing, for example, space plan. He comes real fast, but then tap, boom. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's just they moved in a very, very, I, I mean, you know, he, it was like, you know, he wasn't trying to move faster than the attack. Well, yeah. he was, he was you know, well, you know, a lot of times the attacker would see him over there and he was over here. They say his consciousness is very free. Now, what happens to IC, though, is we, we kind of look at it more like it's a technique. You know, since they put his time into the technique, but the fact of it is, okay, is the techniques are great in terms of learning the basic rudimentary math of movement. Okay, but since they went into such deep levels of math, and you know, what he kind of found was, you know, the Gucci understood the Gucci, the Gucci understood him. There were probably a couple other people he hung out with that, that, that their math was somewhat equal to his. And what happened in Aikido is that, uh, you know, my understanding of it, there's some people that were interested in it. Ikiduchi Sensei was interested in it. He taught as best he could the way Ose Sensei taught. Abe Sensei from Osaka, you know, studied the, the chanting, the, everything like that. Both of them did. But the majority of Aikido teachers study the technique, and there's some of the sensei energy among those students that, that trained with him. So we're kind of at that point right now where a lot of those are leaving us. This is coming in this direction. We'll be coming here. So you see the, the center circle? You establish yourself as the center, there's a circle. And once you get the center of the circle, the circle, and there's a type of you know, we call it a harmony here. Right? Now he grabs real hard. All right, you get the center of the circle, circle to the center, then you find the equal sign. What is the equal sign? It's transparency. You're a part of the original clarity. Therefore, the original nature of love, of power, of beauty, harmony. They're all there. There's our birthright. But we fragment. <laughs> and so for that reason, the Aikido, you know, has a, you know, uh, if you just major and come on in. Yeah, you don't have to, I mean, every it was a real slow starting class. So we just wound up kind of um, answering the question about the four class. Okay, which may have gone out of control. But one of the things about you know, for example, when I train, yeah, you know, sometimes, you know, if you follow Gichi Gichi Sensei, you have five classes a day. You announce to everybody on the, the outer fringe of people coming, so there'd be a dojo and a class, and you go in the morning, and then you train all on the area of three classes, then you come back for the evening class, you know, and he would teach them all, so it was, it was kind of cool, okay. But I'll tell you, the majority of what I learned there is not on the map. It was spending time with him and with the other teachers who were also very deeply influenced by Osensei. Okay? And really, it would be off the map. We'd have discussions, or I'd ask them a question, and they kind of show me a couple of things, right? Okay? So within that, you know, the uh, actual sense of it. The four claps to me is like, okay, one, two. Uh, okay, go to a Shinto shrine, you go throw a, a tiny coin into a box, you bring them, and then you clap twice. That's a ritual. You can go to a Shinto ceremony, you clap twice. But the four claps to me represent a type of connection to Osensei in his Aikido, which you know, hopefully we aspire for. So there's Aikido. And there's the Aikido he did. The man named Sudano, who was actually one of Nadosensei's training partners. He taught in Australia, and then he, then he moved to New York and was Sister Yamada Sensei. And he passed on within the last decade, as a lot of those original students did. And his statement was you know, there was O Sensei's Aikido, and there was the Aikido that we tried to do. That was a top trained Japanese Shihan instructor. 
and the people that, that really knew him, in fact, a lot of them were probably happy he passed on because he was a constant reminder that they were there and he was somewhere else. And there were a couple of people that really tried to, made an effort to bridge a gap between where they were and where he was coming from with his idea. Okay. Now, one other thing, for example, if you come out and you grab two, then you grab two. Okay. Okay, why don't we change the name there? Oh, yeah. In other words, my only ability to move in is, but boom. Let's, uh, let's just call it gravity wave. <laughs> if they both come in this direction to attack, <laughs> you see the patterns of energy. Now, you know, on a good day, I can mimic them. Okay. On a good day, I can mimic Stephen Curry. I have, it's one of my uh, gifts. <laughs> okay, but there's no, you know, if they both come at me, for example, here, then all of a sudden, you know, that doesn't make any sense. But what happens is there's a gravitational pull in the image, <laughs> and what they do is right about here, they're attracted to that image. But consciousness, I think what those senses found on that equal sign, A equals B, you know, this world is equal to the finest divine world imaginable. You know, this is crap, that's good, that's where I want to be. They said, no, everything's equal. He understood how to stand on that equal sign. So if they're both coming at you, and all of a sudden, you he would say you use the one to strike the many. If they both come to hit me, all of a sudden, boom. You know? And like I said, I can mimic them a little bit sometimes on a very good day. Okay, uh, but you know, basically, he was talking about there's such an original harmony. The actual conflict in the world is the aberration, not the norm. Okay, so he kind of counseled people to keep the misogyny, keep going from the does sense it puts it Robert or Bobby Robert and all that. It's a bunch of terrain even deeper than that, and so that's the misogyny. And as we get the consciousness right, A equals B, we're standing on the equal sign. Okay? So within that, you know, uh, exactly how much of that is applicable. You know, what's going to happen is, you know, uh, a lot of the students that directly knew him, that have a contact with him, uh, they're passing on very quickly. In the future, people are going to look at this video and think that's fake. But let me tell you, a lot of the people that, that were his students were top flight martial artists. They weren't flopping for him. They studied with him because as good as they were at judo or kendo or karate or whatever it was, the story about Adi Kawa Sensei, where he was a karate guy, he would make his living by challenging somebody who runs a school. And he, if he won the match, then, then basically he could take the school over, but he didn't want to run a school, so he just take their dues for a month. <laughs> so that's how he survived, you know, with going busting dojos, right? And so what happens, of course, he goes uh, to the CEO sensei. And he's watching all sensei, Instead of challenging old sensei, he says, we're doing something I don't understand, but I want to understand it, so we accept him as a student. So he was smart enough, he didn't have to, you know, he just said, wow. You see, and we, you know, somebody like that, who's a top martial artist, you know, not going out there flopping for him. That stuff on those sensei's levels is real. I guess I can sort of mimic it a little bit. I have a gift for that. If they're coming at me, all of a sudden, you know, we just, I'm not supposed to get squashed like a bug. They're not supposed to hit each other and get hurt. If they come in this way, then all of a sudden, there's space here, and energy moves in spirals and waves. Well, yeah. it's coming this way. There's already waves moving, right? But if he grabs real firm, right here, right here, you know, it's equal to. There's a finer realm right here. The trick is to stand on that equal sign. What is that equal sign? Equal is transparency. 
we become so transparent that, that we're part of the original unity design of creation, including its original goal, which was harmony, beauty, love. And there's power, but it, it's balanced by the others. You see what I mean? And a lot of martial arts is about power. You know, power without intelligence, power without love, is asking for trouble. You kind of see that in the government these days, okay? So the Aikido was meant to be an education. And the binding force of all of those is love. Love is what binds, love is the gravity. A and B have a natural affinity for each other. at the original level that the universe was created, according to Oli Sensei. I'm just saying words. He understood it in a much deeper place. Everything was bound by love. And if you tune into that, the universe loves you back. See, they're a part of the universe. If they come at you, so then all of a sudden, if there's an area, you're right here. They start to. There's a natural design around harmony, around waves and, you know, in spirals and whatever. And, you know, if they both grab, you know, and this is a stupid thing to do because, you know, but this is about as dense and stupid as it gets. If I'm not, they're not stupid, I'm asking them to play after being stupid. So boom, boom. And that was a bigger call in, right? In other words, I'm asking for a bigger bending of a space-time grid to, to move more energy, you know. As I said, I can kind of mimic him sometimes. I know, you know, this is all, for me, words and tricks. Okay, so, you know, I mean, I put that out because I don't want somebody saying, can you dodge bullets? No, I can't, <laughs> you know. But, you know, I'm interested enough in his original message, which sometimes gets lost just within the structure of what people say this is Aikido. So anyway, we have enough people, so we're gonna we're going to move on and have a class. So let's all line up. Uh we're fine to get changed. Hey, Okay, so you know that's a lot to uh, digest. I don't know how good the presentation was, but let's stand up. Okay. The one thing we can do, and you know, let's say it comes in with two hands. Two hands. Huh? Well, we can relax. There's an energy that connects his power to mine. We can do a stretch here. We can't turn it into a stroll, but we don't have to. Okay. Um, the first move is to relax and center. Anytime you relax, center, ground, kind of start to catch a more original breathing aspect of yourself, you, we're, we're starting to interact. See, everything comes out of a one consciousness, right? The first one. So things like centering, grounding is our attempt. Now, we're not, it's a little bit like, you know, in the Superman comics, a couple of people, Lois and Jimmy, they have. <laughs> devices like Superman because <laughs> they don't have any superpowers so he comes in and saves the day okay but one of the things right here is this is like our signal watch and energy starts to move in a more harmonious way not just his energy but my energy if I get too caught up in trying to do something I'm not going to okay so what I'm asking you to do right here is to start with the Modo Seidori, but we'll start it as a stretching motion. Stretching motion, okay? But you get the game of it. There's a lot of stuff we talked about that, that in a lot of ways that's good. And you know you have to kind of 
put it into your own system. What I'm talking about, you have to understand in your own way. Okay. You can't try to figure out my way. In a lot of ways, I can't try to, you know, I tried to figure Rose Sensei out. But on the other hand, uh, whatever he did has to come through my system. So let's, let's, let's start with the, uh, the stretching motion. Now, first of all, simple. It all starts with that, doesn't it? But it starts with a one. Okay, good. Yeah. And he wasn't talking about you being me. He was really talking about the original one had a design where the universe was supposed to work. Then it got a fragment and we got fragment along with it. Then time you're centering or grounding or breathing, all of a sudden, that original design, which is about you and me in a harmonious interaction. He said, well, he tell people, if you attack me, I can't be beaten because the universe harmonizes through me. And yet nobody loses when there's harmony. You see what I mean? We both win, right? Right of that is maybe not the easiest thing to to digest, but you know, if you're coming in this direction, then you say, I'm going to try to win on that And then from here, you have the stretching motion. All right? And then right about there, how well, you start out. Yeah, good, good, good. good. Yeah. Now, the question is, can you really do that? Well, it's based on the original design. You can learn how to knock me down better and get better technique, you know, which is uh, pretty attractive. <laughs> Well, on the other hand, you know, there, there's a difference between his Aikido and the Aikido that all the time is just hot. Okay. And you get blinded by technique and blinded by a lot of stuff. So a lot of us have levels of blindness for some of them to have to shed them. Okay. Anyway, find a partner of yours. Yeah, so one of the things right here. How do you start the movement? Anytime you ground or center or breathe, yeah. you hook the end to that original harmony. Then it's, it splits into four, goes into three levels of dimensions at least. And then the eight powers, you know, the actual push pull, the activity of the universe is meant to still be in harmony. So if you grab, you know, then, uh, once you reverse the grip, it's, you know, give me a squeeze. Yeah, okay, good, what am I gonna do? We're two dense people in this fragmented universe, and we're fragmented, we're trying to kind of work this out. And so then, same time we center, we're going back to the original design of it. You see what I mean? Well, of course, the movement works off of the original design, because I, you know, I can get better at tricking you and throwing you. But as I go back to his original design, I get more transparent, I start to find myself on a more original level. You see the difference right there? In a couple of, you know, in a couple of years, all the original students are going to be gone and people are going to look at the video and take the space as hell. You got to realize a lot of those people were top flight martial artists. They weren't flopping for him. He was doing something that was so advanced. That's why they chose to do that. Right? I'm sure there are a bunch of people. I just tripped. I really won. You know, they like a, a 35th president. I didn't lose. He somehow tricked me, you know what I mean? That sort of thing. That, 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 that's rampant. So it's important for us to kind of protect the original sense of him by, by finding the more original sense of who we are. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, one other thing, too, for example, is uh, what's your first move? Not out there. It's just center or ground or find mm -hmm. some balance in your own system. Well, he saw that this, so I got to re up. Okay. My first move. On that original balance, you know, you do that by, by centering or grounding or breathing or just being very easy. He said, so we get drawn out there. They were in the fragmentation. Right? Unification. What is unification? 
Fiction is the original oneness, but there's division. It's, it's you know, we can be in the, the scattered division of it, or we can start to try to put the whole thing together because as fragmented as it is here, the reality of it that he found, I'm still working on it. I mean, for me, they're just words, unfortunately, is that you know, they're part of an original design of perfection and harmony. And the binding factor, I know this is kind of crazy, you know, right here we're getting the power. I'm going to try to outsmart you with another angle. No, uh, boom. What binds you in me, and then we connect to a bigger version of the original, is love. Not a stupid, crappy version of love. All right, boom, 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 boom. boom. It's love. Let's just connect with it. So when somebody kind of says, like today, it's love, we tend to mess it because there's it's too much of a vague idea of love. This stuff, you know. You grab real form, all right? So what am I going to do? Boom. Same pattern. They got to realize what's connecting it. If you grab up and you a little bit more here. Now oh, keep that hand there. Put your other hand here. Okay, now you grab here. So don't give him room. No, that's too crazy. Yeah, come on. Uh, what am I going to do? I, I, I'm double teaming. Okay. Boom. Okay. Okay. Kind of motion. Right, same motion, same motion. What's my first move? Some form of grounding sense of being present. Nothing really fancy at all. So I get really distracted by trying to figure out how to do the movement better and everything like that. And that, that's natural. So I gotta be very easy here. Okay. okay. Yeah, so one of the things here is where does that movement start? It can't start out here. That movement starts with you finding some balance. So that's why like centering is good, grounding is good, breathing is good. There's a lot of different things you can work. Calm is good. And that act puts you back, you know, if you kind of look at his map, we're not as far back as he was, it puts you back at the one, the original consciousness. What come out of that original consciousness is the four, three, eight, and there's probably a 16 and a 34 and a whatever else. Is. But, you know, he concentrated the one, four, three, eight. And all of those different dimensions come out of the original design of harmony. And no matter where you are, the binding force that allows that thing to come in, one, so, you know, it, it's somehow being present in a kind of neutral, non-judgmental way. So that, you know, the binding force is love. Pure and simple. Okay, so if come out here, right? You know, there's a certain amount of opposition here, but boom, boom, boom. <coughs> You can get too caught up in the game. So you don't really see that right about here, there's her and there's me, and there's a binding force that connects us both to the original design, which is harmony. Again, the qualities, original one to four, power, boom. Okay, oh, I can get into that, right? Um, and, and then there's also, you know, you can get into like the intelligence, like, yeah, I'm going to learn to relax and, ch and channel energy. Okay, that's intelligent, All right? Um, and, and, you know, you know my, my, it can be beautiful. But what binds everything? The four forces that sustain the universe, you know, there's, again, the gravity, electromagnetism being quite strong for the one that sticks that is gravity. Physicists are still trying to figure out how gravity connects to the other three. Okay? Boom. Well, I can say, I think gravity was love. Okay. It gravitates together. It binds. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm in the information of it, so I have to center down a little bit. Start the equation happening, A and B, but I want to be on that equal side. That's transparency. Yes, boom. Okay. 
So on the round, we're going to warm up a little bit with just the uh, cold two hole mode. So we do some stretching, standing. Okay, let's change partners. Oh, I got this. Trying to get the shot from the street. Yeah. <laughs> right there. If the elbows go up, you don't get the lift. Huh. Yeah. Somebody, you know, there was a thing on uh, you know, also what I'm going to do is if it, I'm, going to, I'm going to curve it up there. Hey, see what I mean? I created a gravitational pull from the top. See what happens when, on the other hand, you lock it to do that. <laughs> you also follow up because you have to feel it. Okay, come right about here. What's my first thing? Not panicking, trying to move you. It's finding some balance with myself and then wow. boom. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's hard? No. It's just so dumb. We get caught up in all the details out there and, and you know, we, we miss everything. That, that's why, you know, I, th I think, you know, there's a, somebody was putting online about, you know, how, you know, this one guy in Aikido class and those things they pull from other things. So, they don't understand. This is not Aikido. It's an Aikido class. You know, because everybody's out there doing all that stuff, they're hypnotized by the details. But see if the elbows go up, but the elbows come in, it's like boom, do, 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 do. boom. No, you know, right about here. I'm gonna try to lift you know, you can relax. And we're gonna create a curvature up there. If you can bend space time, you can move energy and you can move matter. We we you know, we you know it's A equals B. A, some degree is going to be geometry, okay, placement, whatever it's B, it's physics. A equals B, Einstein's, which I don't, by the way, trying to understand it all. It's just that he explained to me, this is Einstein's basic. And it took him a long time to get it. You know, he kind of messed up his equations. He had to go back over it all. So boom, boom, boom. But if I can move, if I can bend space time, I can move energy or matter to some degree. It sounds that was obviously much better than I am. But I think, you know, that, that was, he would say, I'm not teaching religion, I'm religious. And sometimes I speak in religious terms, I'm teaching spiritual science. So what is that science? That original, we have these cities, the some of your own centers, go back to that original consciousness. 
And that original consciousness traces one, four, three in total balance, and boom. All we gotta do is realize the original consciousness is in the equal sign. And the transparency. Anytime you spend a sound open, it's supposed to get too involved that way. Now, right about here, you know, the movement starts to kind of boom, 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 boom. Here's the coming feature. Stage time starts to curve in very strange ways for you. Within that, if you kind of look at it, then, then you know, uh, and I don't know, you know, because I think I kind of, you know, you, you explained it and you explained it in terms nobody understood. <laughs> like you talked in terms of gods and goddesses and numerology that didn't make sense. Well, what, what the hell is a 1438? We got to hang on with it. All right. And it made perfect sense to him, which what does that mean? We got to find our own. And yeah, I can kind of maybe get a feel for his now, which mine. No, come on. You know, just I'm going to start with some balance. Let me center a grounding or breathing, something. Right? Then, boom, then all of a sudden it picks up, doesn't it? The one goes into four, where things are actually, the movement starts to go that way. It goes into the four, right? You know, and then boom, you, you realize there are different dimensions, right? Boom, boom, boom. And then the eight. It keeps going. And then as the universe unfolds, it doesn't fragment. You see what I mean? Problem is that, what, actually, I don't know, the universe really fragmented, it was us. As we kind of got denser and denser, we kind of got, you know, stupider and stupider in certain ways. So, you know, one of the, the four major ones, you know, the Kushini Kama, the heavenly soul, is it's about intelligence. But it's not just normal, it's like a heavenly mind. Would a heavenly mind put this crazy world together? No. We kind of went in there and got twisted a little bit. And so, you know, so we're, can you center or ground, you're, you're into a, a different, you know, you're into a different level of yourself and all the things. My sense is that we're in your own way, you're assembling your own one for three years. You know, that's a challenge. I mean, yeah, work for him. I don't know if he's going to work for me, right? Or you, right? But the first thing would be, well, I'm you're going to center or down. You're going to go into some level of the original one. He talks to the twos and threes and fours because, you know, when I'm in the one, I'm just pretty much a God will save me here. You know, you know, I don't think that way. He talks in terms of spirit, and he talks in terms of the gods, which, you know, and I think you have a relationship with the original consciousness of things. But, you know, I, I don't know that, you know, he would, and, and he respected, you know, the Bible, he respected all of it. He found truth in all of them. He studied all of them. There's a great line, you know, in Superman and Lois, where he's letting Lois be the first to interview him. And so he's speaking English, so he said, oh, you must, you must have come to America. Then he starts speaking other languages. He says, how many languages do you know? He says, all of them. I want to be able to understand anybody here. He's Superman. Of course he understands. He can hear the whole world, right? You know, so like, boom, 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 boom. So, uh, you know, when you hear, and all of a sudden you get motion effects, and boom, and all of a sudden, everything starts to, to kind of really cook. Whoops, sorry about that. I didn't need to do that. So, you know, so within that, you know, uh, that's a lot about finding this balance in yourself so that we start to clear and get out of this delusion. I mean, it's real. This world is is equal to the original perfect world because otherwise it wouldn't be fair. But we got to find the equal sign. When you start standard and become increasingly clear, then all of a sudden, you know, we're going to deeper find the levels of ourselves. We start to maybe do a little bit more than he was doing. And yet we use the technique, especially besides the you know? 
the IT guys, which is, you know, is keeping that alive because they have a good business model. If he didn't, <laughs> but he produced a lot of really good people and they haven't been able to come up with another one something. <laughs> okay, everybody up. Okay, everybody up. Everybody up. Okay. So one of the things that we're, we're kind of looking at is that, you know, the whole thing starts with some level of balance. Things in this dimension, you know, very imbalanced, unbalanced, or you want to say. But, you know, things like centering, grounding, breathing. Uh, Osensei coach Tata Haruo, his primary lesson was learn to wait. You see, quick, you see, uh, learn to wait. So I had to stand on one leg, so he had to really get a center, right? But uh, O said, you know, as he got older, he realized that what Osensei taught him, learn to wait, was the most active thing he did. The most active thing in his life. Was you, you know, was what OSENSE they slanted them for is because when you're waiting, you need balance. But all left was balance, so OSENSE they said, for you, wait. He might have given somebody else, he told Hiki Hiki since they never wait. But uh, depending on who you are. Okay. So one of the things, for example, if we go here, we got two hands here again. Okay. See, I'm not asking her to be stupid because we're stuck in a stupid world. She's a woman in the male world that's, that's run basically by white male, and it's hard. You know, it's hard for both of us. We're both Oriental. You know, but at least I'm Oriental male. You know, she's by, you know, a brown, white right male. Right. Huh? Now, in the design of things, increasing levels of balance. Now, those things say, for example, he kind of talks about Bobby. There's Bobby here. Okay. And then there's Robert here, boom. Bob is a little sharper. And then there's uh, Nado, right? And then, you know, really, there's a Sir Nado. <clears throat> so he kind of uses that a lot. You know, that's basic dimensionality in terms of self. But what, what, what he's really doing right there is it's positioning himself better on the equal phone, isn't he? Okay, right? So anytime you, you can calm down, be easy, settle a bit, and not get caught up in all that. Now she's running towards me or something, then I have to be able to assemble that kind of clip. Right, she's moving towards me, boom, okay. I can't be waiting for her to grab my wrist in order to create that gravity wave. Right, she's coming at me, then we've got to find that other motion. She gets up, she's going to come in again. I'll go, boom. She then activates my system, A equals B. But we're really not A or B, we are the equal sign. And so whatever she comes up with, boom, there's the equal on the other side, but we're the equal. And as we learn to stand a bit more on that, then we're working with, you know, the those and say, body to Robert. You know, somebody says, what, what, you know, I got Jackie, which I don't particularly care for. I was a kid, everybody called me Jackie, right? And I went to school, they started calling me Jack on the side. So there's Jackie, there's Jack, there's, uh, it's, it's the those same favorite person is Wada. <laughs> so, you know, it's a little better than a, a, you know, Jack, right? But, you know, um, I, you know, I would like in Japanese to be something like more Jack Kusama, you know, more like uh, Sir Jack. Okay, I don't know what that's doing, but there's more balance there. You see what I mean? It's a dimensional thing. We learn to settle, get a better sense of ourselves. We learn to settle a little bit more, or center, or down, get a better sense, even more. So after a while, you know, you're 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 you're, you're kind of your royal self. Okay. Yeah, at least locally, you know, the warriors said years ago, you have to just skinny kid out of Davidson. It was a really good player. And my thought was, you know, Steph Curry, it's too bad you're coming to this dumbass team because nobody will ever notice you. And what happened? He came here 
And he was kind of like this meteor rock that set all these other things in motion. And he changed the whole game because he changed his space time coordinates. He can shoot anywhere inside of 40 feet. It means you got to pick him up when he crosses half court. It changes the spacing. Other players can take advantage of it. Last year, he had nobody to do that. So they, you know, basically, those things just beat him up. But he's still scored 32 points a game at, at a very advanced age. I don't think they were going to do Well, for NBA, a small guard, 33 years old. Old, old, you are done. And he had arguably his best year on a horrible team. So that's the equal sign. Did he get anything for it? He won a scoring title at 33, being really small. All right. But if she's coming this direction, then, all right, she's coming in with some new really scores. The equal sign creates the balance. I'm trying to get her. It looks like that. But the equal sign, boom. boom. So I'm we're gonna amp it up a bit. You're gonna have to deal with things coming at you. I'm gonna be trying enough to win in this collision. Now you're gonna step aside and do the equal sign. Okay, you get the timing. Okay, all right, so let's change partners. Right? Yeah. Which kind of gets you? You could get the actual gravitation force. Right? You can look. You get the blah, 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 blah. Huh? 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 You both come in. Remember you have that? Uh, that, yeah, it's a trick. I do it all sometimes. Yeah. They always think it wasn't a trick. You see what I mean? I mean, it's, it's really I funny. Know you do it here, but it's still the cause. Yeah, but you know, there. Well, you, you, you're learning. Well, if you're learning about gravity, you're learning how space time operates. If you need to space time, you move mass and you move energy. Well, most of the time, we see it here. Let's do warp drive. Okay, that makes sense. But we have, we don't have the energy to create that warp, right? We don't. All right. On the other hand, they think they're standing there, and you know, um, you know, he's sort of able to, you know, gravity waves, waves in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. You matter in the universe, you also energy. It's easier to move energy than it is matter, but you're both. And if I can stand on that, if I'm the opposite, you can, I'm a, yeah, it's kind of a standoff, but if I'm the equal sign, that's the original harmony, isn't it? The equal sign is where you, it's a stance of love. That's a hard one to learn. Other than that, we're, we're just kind of a, a spiritual form of jujitsu. We're <laughs> jujitsu with aspiration. And so, you know, what he was meaning was that, yeah, you can feel well. Anybody who sees some of those and say, well, they can do this. It's so easy, but I can't give it to you. You have to kind of get it on your own. So I can inspire you. You see what I mean? So if we're kind of here, if he's coming at me or something, well, it's just, if you're coming at me, boom, all of a sudden, you know, a... Oh, yeah. If I'm at the equal sign, then maybe I can do a little bit of what he did, which is to bend space time. You know, you create a wave in space time, then energy and matter move along that wave. If you're coming in, it would create a wave. All right? Then I don't have to do the heavy lifting. He was pretty old. He was pretty strong when he was pretty old. But then again, you know, I mean, anybody, you know, there's a piano, okay. All right, what does Clark can't do? Well, he lifts the piano, all right. But if he was to curve space time, well, he does other things like smash asteroids, which would have to be 
uh, on another level, right? Uh -huh. But, you know, okay, we do this here. Again, I'm going to create you as energy and you as sound. Uh, you know, I, I mean, you know, unfortunately, we're not, we, it doesn't give us superpowers, you know. So I tell you, it's a hell of a lot more fun doing this than it is jujitsu. If you try to spiritualize jujitsu, you go insane. Ultimately, because it's, it's all it is. You can create a certain level of it. Yeah. Anyway, keep going. Okay, so you're kind of caught right in the middle of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, re up. Boom. Okay, in other words, what am I going to do right here? Uh, your matter and energy moving in this direction. According to the original design of things, there's no conflict. There's just permanent. Okay, so what I'm going to do right here is just try to be on that equal sign. And right about here, that harmony, look, it's this wave. We are both a part of the wave. A equals B, but I don't want to be A or B. I want to be the equal sign. And what connects A and B? What connects to the equal is love. That's a hard lesson to learn. When he was talking about love, he was talking about staffing stuff. Just you go here, and all of a sudden, you're coming up. Settle a little bit, recenter. Recalibrate, because all you got to do is bend the space time grid and energy and matter will move. You see what I mean? He was very advanced. I'm not teaching religion. But I am not teaching religion. But I personally am religious and not teaching it. What am I teaching? I'm teaching spiritual science. So the reason the world is so wacko, physical science is, you know, I mean, you're, He's been dead for 50 some odd years. Guess what? Physical science is so much more. But spiritual science, not so. Things are worse today on that level than they were when he was alive. He just came out of the war, and, you know, and there was bombing, and there was a you know, whole bunch of stuff. There was Vietnam going on in the 60s. The world was never going to be perfect. So I tell you, it's gotten worse. So he said, you know, it will get worse. And so, you know, and so I'm trying to teach something that, you know, he said, I could know, save the world. He said, yeah, we introduce people to spiritual science. Everybody here comes out of the one thing, no matter what your religious does. Of course, a lot of people think that's Satanism, or that's what it not. Basically, it's shamanism with a little bit of Einstein theory to me. Right? That's all it is, you know. In some union philosophy, like archetypes, you know, just moving through this, you know, that's all it is. But he said, you know, but you gotta find your own model for it. When you talk about one, four, three, and crap, four times as opposed to two, and doesn't get us anywhere. But if you observe, you know, I'm gonna clap four times because we clap four times. And if I go to a gym, that's fine, I clap twice. I understand the law. Hmm. But on the other hand, I also understand there's rituals pretty limited. And, you know, the four gives me a reminder that there's more. Yeah. And I go two, I get mechanical. Huh. It's just funny. If I go in the class, and say, okay, I'm going to do it easy. If you come in this way, I'm going to do it You know, but if you're going to come in this way, I'm going to And that's a ride down a slope that was created in space time for energy and matter. We both move along that slide. We just polarize, that's all. Yeah, then, then, then you know, it, it goes out the jujitsu run. Right? What allows us to fuse, believe it or not, is love. It's the gravity. That's the one thing that, that the four, the, you know, the electromagnetism, weak force, strong, they do not define gravity. You have to find gravity for yourself. Yes, sir, what? Well, A equals B. That's to some degree a harmony. Okay, but I'm going to try, it's natural for A to want to be bigger than B, you know, or to make B less than it is. Okay. And so, you know, the equal sign is, is more of a clarity. We get more balance with ourselves. You see what I mean? 
then if you start to think about winning, you, you, you kind of go back into some sort of a stupid spiritual position. It's just is fine. It's just, you know, to me, I wouldn't do it. Because, you know, the mentality of it, you know. But the techniques, yeah. You want to play some work and win, yeah. You want a bigger workout and go slam, yeah, okay. It's all good. But I don't think you're going to find out how the universe works in jiu jitsu. Or find out your place in it, how you work. You see what I mean? A little different. You can do this a little quicker. He's coming in this way. Good. Boom. Huh? If you're coming in this direction, it's like boom. You can be quicker. It's like, it's like boom. Right? As you get clearer and stand better on that equal sign, A equals B fashion. What is A and B? Well, he's coming in. We're clearing away. Okay? You're going to come in this direction. We clear away. That wave happens faster the clearer I am on that equal sign. But I'm also one of A or B. That's what the chippy thing is. Yes, you are. You're eating logic. But you're also an original consciousness, right? And that original consciousness has a has a has a relationship with the design of the universe, right? And the whole universe was designed. I, I you know the original consciousness would not have designed the universe to be crappy and divided. Unfortunately, you know there was division, but then there's twists within that to create separation. And so, you know, I think they base this whole thing about what unites is love. Right? Okay. Let's watch again. Let's watch again. Okay. Just kind of looking at, you know, a variety of things here. Okay. Um, the better balance you have, the better you stand on the equal sign. And the better that equal sign is, the better A equals B, that's the meaning. Now, uke and nage, okay, uke equals nage. We tend to think, nage, uke, yeah. But no, they're both equal forces, A and B. Einstein got it where geometry and physics were the same. That was relativity, okay? That's genius. So where was those things they were like this? Who's on the equal sign? You have space time, which is to some degree, it is geometry. Okay. And then you have physics, matter, and energy. You have to have a design, the original design. Of creation, I think with those things we found the original consciousness A equals B, which is permanent. UK equals Nage, and it's joined within a wave spiral. Okay? That's idea. But the wolf is standing increasingly clearer as the equal sign. He calls that Misogi. Okay? So she charges at me, and I'm kind of not equal to her. You know? Now, I can start to say, okay, I got overwhelmed, so I'm going to come at her stronger. And then we have a contest of, of, of power, okay? But what I was saying, they were saying, no, we're, we're, we're both equal. There's a harmony here. If there's a wave, I may be nodding, she may be okay, but we're equal right there. So where was he standing? He was standing on the equal sign. Boom. So what's the timing? Go. Go again. Boom. Boom. That's Bobby. All right. Robert gets a little better. He's got the form. He's got the knowledge. Everything like that. But you know, we're using that cosmology. And the dog started to. And then, you know, let's up them up one. Or we say, Sir Robert, we're, we're all 
starting out usually at that level one. But you learn to settle or center or ground or breathe. The next level. And then there's a, you may not even realize it, but you're it's the same thing, but you're not the original body level, you're the robber level. And then you learn throughout that level, ground or center or whatever you want to breathe or you know, you can chant. There's a lot of things you can do. And all of a sudden you're you're kind of at the next level and the next level. And right about here, it's like you're boom. That equal sign is what you see. You don't really see the A and the B so much. Well, if you look at the A and the B, you get confused because you're missing the equal sign. The equal sign is us. As we get more original, we stand clearer, stronger, but in a loving sense on that equal sign. And that's what the Aikido is supposed to do. Okay, but do you get the timing of it? See, if we're both equal and I'm standing on that equal time, I'm also, the tricky thing, I'm also either A or B. I'm going to be UK or Nage. Okay, so, you know, to some degree, the relativity thing, you know, somebody drops the ball from a moving train and you look at it from the train, the ball goes like that. If you see it from the platform, Observing the train, the ball goes that way and the train goes that way. Same space-time event. Okay, now they are, there is a type of polarization. But when you start staring at the E sign, the UK picks up the design through a body field. And the Nage gets out of the, the sense of being overwhelmed or having to compensate and go out and attack her say. And so really what we're doing is we're creating ourselves as equal within the same space-time event because she's coming in this direction. And there's balance there, there's timing there that's created by the equal time. Okay, so we get up the ante when you need somebody charging at you. Okay. Now you, you can up your side of the equation, but we're about the equal sign and standing there in a better place. Does that make sense? And the equal sign exists because of the binding force of love. Love creates the equal. So when you're standing there, you're standing to some degree as the emissary of that binding force. Or so since they called it I is key. Key, key, I is key. That makes sense. Okay. But if it does, all of a sudden you're getting a game plan. You're part of the design, the mind is starting to clear. Then your body, you'll be able to kind of feel the shift from a Bobby to a Robert, from a Robert to a Nado, Nado to a Sir Robert, or whatever else you want to do. There are a lot of different levels. Somewhere down there or up there or on a final level is another sensei level. We're still all working to get there. So <laughs> one person failed that mountain. <laughs> one person. Okay. But he left this. Okay. So we're going to have you do this. Go one more time on that one. Uh, this is dealing with somebody who's coming at you with more energy and intent. What do you do? Amp up to go back in a better or Stand with more clarity and balance on the equal side. Okay, fine. But, but let's uh, change partners just to work it different. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're on the E person. I move this way, you move that way. It's the, you're on the E person. Oh, okay. The only equal sign, I move this way, you move that way, but there's the equal sign. Like I know, all of a sudden, I'm <laughs> Yeah, you do what I mean. Clear. It's not something you want to understand here. You want to understand it in the moment, kind of an experiential body. Okay, good. Two different sectors. Yeah. Now, we get caught up in all this stuff, which takes us off the equal sign. Equal sign is me right here, right now, uh, in, with the capacity to turn this moment into an IT moment, whether when the doors are open. You see? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the other, the other tip I'll give you, uh, you don't want to be found blind, but if you're looking too much, yeah. you're giving him too much weight. Oh. If you're coming into I'm looking at you, I'm giving you too much weight. Okay. I don't want to hit you or anything like that. It's just the fact that, you know, A equals B. That was Einstein's genius. Geometry, space time equals matter and energy. Yeah. Hey, how come a lot of, a lot of physics probably got, how come I didn't see that? Well, what did Einstein say? All I want to do is learn God's thoughts, because if I understand God's thoughts, I understand the universe. The other thing he said is imagination is more important than knowledge. Because knowledge gets well, okay, I know this is bigger than that. On the equal sign, it's different. Right? I mean, are we ever going to be like this? We can be working our way up the mountain, so to speak. You see what I mean? So things like grounding, centering, being present, they're very important. And also understanding that we're also kind of dimensional that way. I mean, Bobby's uh, okay within the kind of a set, locked up world. You know? Robert's a little bit, a little bit of way of handling things and not you know, on any level or something, you know, and it's, it's Sir Robert. <laughs> Whatever. So, you know, but when we kind of get that thing, then we realize that it starts, and you know, the settling around during the same thing, it starts on that. Bobby has a certain level of center. Robert has a certain level of center. Nadia has a certain level of center. You know, Sir Robert has a a level of center. You see, that, that's just all, that's what you're saying on that equal time, isn't it? Okay? Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
you have a, another Jerry and here she's coming in this direction. Okay, good. 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 Now here it creates a space time thing. Now what I'm going to say is you don't want to chase the UK, but you also don't want to create separation. I got it. Do you know what I mean? So right about here, think of that motion. Right here. Boom. 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 See, I kind of need to create a warp drive to get from here to there, don't I? And how do I do that? Well, since they said no time, no space, okay? But, you know, those sense they insist when, or since they walk in public, everybody else is running when this old man was walking because they couldn't keep up with him. Okay, so he was doing so, but he understood some warp drive. So she's coming at me, I'm gonna get her attention. Be the other way. But right about here, I'm going to be right there. Boom. That equal signs right there. Boom. So you're not just soaring, you're also transitioning to keep the process going. Okay? Uh, rotate, keep the toes just up and back this direction. I'll ask this one. Okay? You fall off the ego thing. First of all, I'm coming towards you. Okay. You're a lighthouse, and I'm a ship in this dark and foggy, but I see the light. Don't make sure that light is turned on. Now I give you an idea your pivot, your full pivot, your full pivot. Oh, yeah. And if you're looking too much at me, you fall off the equal sign. So, other side, you're going to project a beam. I'm running at you. Put it, put it out where I can see it. Oh, okay. I didn't run into that. Now, take a step. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's try it again. Now, what I want you to do a little bit. He makes it right over the top of that. The other one, he makes it right underneath it. But that gets his attention. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But move towards me. Boom. Grab it. Feel my. Go, 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 go. Stop. Boom. Come on. Don't be mental like this. Stop. Go. Stop. Boom. You're in it. Oh, again. Boom. Go, 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 go. If you stop to figure it out, you read the MTV system. Go, 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 go. And again, go, 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 go. I want to be right there for you with a loving connection. Good. And do it, and don't miss it. You know, you like someone, you have one chance to ask the date. Go, the other hand. Come on, go, 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 go. And if you don't ask, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Do that, even though there's you go, I'm gonna go mental. You don't have equal sign anymore. Okay, all right, good. Okay. Okay. Um, a couple of things right here. If we 
look at this, for example. Right? Um, John pivoting. Marshally, all right, let's just say right here, she disengages, okay? Let's say she's more male, boom. You see that? You're, you're positioning behind. If you, how off connection to get here? Right here, boom. Right, boom. That's an older strike. Somebody's coming at you with a samurai sword. You don't have one. You're wearing armor. Then with the cut. And they're extending their leg because they're coming to really touch them too. You pivot. This is an old striking motion. Boom. Which they'll feel right through the samurai armor. Correct? Yeah, so it's just kind of destruction. Boom. And somehow, you know, for example, here, you see how the, the actual energy is maybe going back to the rise. Okay. How do you get that? If you polarize you can argue, you don't. So as you're trying to see that, in mind going back to this more original sense, that's just okay, I'm gonna follow the rote pattern. I have intelligence, I have discrimination. I can understand it in an ancient model, the samurai sword, the samurai armor, or conversely, you know, there's a force coming at me. I'm like, okay, boom. I'm gonna to try to find a safe place and send it somewhere where it doesn't hurt anybody. Okay, if Superman had to do something, okay, there's this great mega meteor, and maybe he can't even stop it, but he can channel it directly to where it falls somewhere where it's not going to hurt anybody. Maybe some animals in the desert, but it's not going to be in an urban population. See what I mean? So she's coming at me, it's a boom, a boom. And then right here, you have to just stay connected, boom. Don't chase your uke. But the ability to go from there to keep the connection going is an awful lot about what IQ goes about. You understand it in motion. Right here, boom, boom, boom. Right here, boom. Right here, boom. Yeah. You're all moving fast, I'm not really. But you know, I think that was as good as that he'd be walking this way and people would be running to catch up to him. And that, that's a true story I've heard from more than one person. He was, he was at that original place where A equals B, and they're both in perfect harmony. And he's the equal family. And space time is a little different here, isn't it? Okay. So anyway, there's a couple of tips. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're going to bow out. Um, some of today was a lot of lecture. We missed it. We went through the four class. And why we do four as opposed to two. A lot of schools, they do two. Okay. I was thinking it means it's supposed to be Shinto. But his claps for IQ though were four. And some people ask, you trying to get that crazy school down south. The yeah, I did. But I've always found that, you know, by doing my study of science and Einstein and uh, Jungian psychology, it, it actually is all what it's for. It's Jung's self, the number of self. See, I think he was into a numerology to explain the, the original harmony and design of creation. And since that, you know, that one, that primary consciousness, everything came out of it, we're all potentially standing on the equal side until we get caught up in these weird torques. And then, you know, basically for her, I mean, she's a, a woman in basically a white male world. It's changing, I hope, and it is. But it's set up along certain guidelines. And the way I think they put it, he said, I see though is true democracy. The only thing he said is I see though, 
that, 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 that anything, economic is the basis of society. Yeah, you have mega rich people, and a lot of us are just struggling to survive. That's not economics. So, you know, the IQ, though, if everything is meant to be, it doesn't mean like, you're a communist, you're a socialist. So we get those crazy labels, and we're just trying to say we're all equal, and we really can't stand on that equal sign where A equals B, and binding forces standing there. The equal sign bind is love. Okay? That's a hard lesson to learn. There's a lot of things out there and a lot of people I don't particularly feel like loving at all. Okay. But on the other hand, what I can do is have a loving spirit that understands there's division in this world and try to work towards a unification stance. I actually had a dream once with Donald Trump. It was very interesting. I bumped into him in a dream and guess what? It was really funny. He was actually not bad in the dream. I was Huh? In other words, you know, your subconscious might tell you you're getting too caught up in this petty hatred. So I'm going to send you a dream, and you're not, you've got to examine your, your, your petty, you know, Jackie kind of hating, you know, the power figure that runs the country and promoting division and hatred. Okay. So it was really interesting that dreams, a lot of times, they, 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 they're teachers. It's a, I want to hate this guy, but he's not that bad. It was a really funny dream. <laughs> right? I, I mean, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, Sensei saying, okay, Jack, he's trash, but don't you go down to his level of hating him. That's what he wants. Look at this from a more loving stance. There is evil in the world, but we don't call it evil. We say, be part of a development towards an original balance or harmony. And there's some people that are further out than others. But he created the idea though, that we would be all moving towards that sense of love. Does that make any sense? So when you train your idea though, you're not just doing spiritual jujitsu. Okay. I mean it's easy to do that. Well, yeah, I'm doing Aikido, though, so I understand all this philosophy and technique. You know, the idea of the technique come out of your ability to stand there and unify. We'll go, today we didn't go into terribly great night, but, but most any movement starts again with that centering, grounding, breathing. You figure your best stance out. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, we do need to do the, the cleaning. I, I kind of make sure everything gets white and I lock up and everything. But if we could get the, you know, the mats cleaned and I take care of the rest. Thank you very much.